Hello guys, welcome back to Stanjav and in this series of video we are going to see how to install Jellyfin Media Server on Docker. So as you can see this is a personal home server playlist and there is already a video of, about installing Docker and Portrainer or your Ubuntu server. So watch the video first and then also watch this video so you can able to understand how to create your own home server. So let's get started. To install your Jellyfin server, I have provided here a couple of commands. So you have to only follow that command. Then you will able to install the Jellyfin Media server perfectly. So first, let's go to the Ubuntu server and connect it. Okay. So as you can see, I have connected my Ubuntu server, and let's go for ls. Okay. So there is uh, nothing like uh, any folder or directory like uh, Jellyfin Media server. Okay. So first command you have to do that uh, sudo apt update enter password now you have to type sudo apt upgrade press y hit enter Okay, so once this command is done, so as you know, we have already installed Docker and Portrainer in our Ubuntu server. So we don't need to in, uh, install and follow that command again. We just have to follow this command to give some permissions to your Docker. Okay, enter. So now we have given the permissions. Let's create a folder of mkdir jellyfin. Okay, ls. So now we have successfully created the Jellyfin media, uh, a folder. Okay, so let's check uh, about the permissions of if it get the root permission or your user permission. Okay, as you can see, the Jellyfin uh, directory has the user permission. If in case you didn't get the user permission, it's necessary for you to get the user permission. So if you here say the root you have to copy this command okay. and now paste here so remember this uh, at least at hks this is my username and hks semicolon hks you have to put your username for this and then hit enter and then you will see about the hks and the so here you can see that there is not root and there is my user and was this done let's go to the directory of jellyfin okay okay ls there is nothing here and then click on id so you know, try to understand this this is uid and this is gid it is very necessary for the next step so you have to uh, see this if there is 1001 or 1000 so then remember this and edit here of puid and pgid so puid is this and pgid is this so in my case there is thousand so i have already put here thousand so now you have to uh, use another command nano docker compose.ml so i will type this command ML. hit enter okay and now copy this hold command copy this and paste over here okay so as you see the version is here 3 and in services jellyfin image is like linux image here and latest so uh, remember here it should be latest and container name jellyfin and for P UID and PGID, as we see, in my case, it was 1000, so I put 1000. And so, TZ referred to the time zone. So, let's go for the time zone. Okay, so I will provide this list in the description. You will, so you can also uh, able to get and follow your time zone. In my case, it is Asia Kolkata, so I live in India. Okay, so I will follow that command of 
Asia slash Kolkata here. In case it can be America or slash California. So you have to put according to that. And in volumes, <coughs> uh, so Jellyfin dash config that the config. Uh, so it's uh, good and for media, and it is also great. So you have to remember, don't uh, change anything here. It is eight zero nine six. So it's a Jellyfin port, like Docker port is nine four four three. So it's a Jellyfin port, and for restart, it's uh, unless stop. Okay, so just uh, rename it that, and for to save it, press Control X hit y and enter so as you now save it follow the next command sudo docker compose d and test here and hit enter so it will take a couple of minutes so there is no necessary to worry it is just pushing the image and downloading some required files for the jellyfin And once this has been done, we have to follow the next commands. Okay, as you can see, we have successfully pushed the docker image. So let's type ls. Okay, so you can see that the configuration file of docker here. So let's go to your docker console. So as you can, we can see, has we successfully uh, pushed the image or not. So first, uh, at, from the last video, you have created the username and password. Paste here and click on login. As you can see, uh, let's go to here up and you can see the two containers here like right? so first off is the jellyfin and second one is a port runner so I think we have successfully uh, created and generated the container here and it's uh, running okay okay so it has been running perfectly so now we have to go to your console and type ls so first of all we have to create one folder mkd I, our media so this will our media folder and at 3d media we have to create one folder movies folder and okay show and okay. so by one command you can create the three directories hit enter and type ls as you can see i have created books movies and shows folder here and so when it ha once it has been done, let's go for your Jellyfin. So to go to your Jellyfin, you have to put your Ubuntu server IP address and uh, your port name. So if you don't know your IP, type ifconfig here in your Ubuntu server. As you can see in uh, ENP2SO, there is inet 192.168.1.102. Just type here. and in at port you have to type okay let's check the port first for jellyfin okay so it's zero eight zero nine six and hit enter as you can see we have successfully deployed the jellyfin media server here and now it has been start here and like follow my commands now so first click on next for the username you have to 
choose any username in my case i will choose hks or okay let's go first and then and for password i will use my password here and now next and save okay so now let's add the media library here so for content type select select movies and display name movies now for folders let's go here and as you can see at your media folder here okay i think something has been messed up okay so if you do not see any media folder here so take no worry and go to your port trainer and now go for the jellyfin here open new tab and click here duplicate and edit okay so there may be sometimes problem about the volumes so as you can see in the media the volume has been only media not jellyfin directory here so you have to nothing to worry uh, just here that volume mapping uh, here is a add sign just click on hit here and then click on slash jelly fin and two for volume click on bind here and now let's go for the here's cd jelly fin and pwd so pwd is basically the library part command okay copy this command and uh, paste here and i will create one more volume map for slash jelly fin two of here and for bind and for here i will go for the cd sorry uh, ls and cd media okay and now pwd copy this command and paste over here okay so once uh, you have been done this uh, copy this jellyfin and remove from here and also do this uh, once you remove this okay so you have to deploy this container like from here it can be take some time so no worry about that as you can see we have successfully deployed and uh, close this uh, tab and now let's go for the jellyfin one more time one two not one sixty eight okay so here is already the address i will hit enter as you can see now we are all in jellyfin tab hit on next uh, for username i will put a stun there and for password i will enter it hit enter add media library click on content movies and for folders hit enter as you can see we have got the jellyfin here and jellyfin 2 here so i will go for the jellyfin and at the media i've as you can see we have created the three folders of movies music and books and shows so let's go for here first and ls as you can see so we get the all libraries here so we will go for the movies here as we select movies and hit enter and hit ok okay so now we have copied the movies path now we will copy some shows path for folder uh, jellyfin media and shows click on ok ok and now i will just use one more library for music okay for jellyfin media and music and click on ok okay once it it has been done click on next and for country i will select india and next and now next and finish okay so once it has been done copy paste the username and password okay so we are now successfully loaded into the jellyfin library so as you can see there is no movies or any show here so to if you want to uh, host the shows here so you have to follow this video to how to copy and share the files between ubuntu and windows so first we will go for the files here here and uh, as you can see there is one movie and one uh, output here of my standard folder so first we have to connect to my server 
sftp dot slash slash dot one zero two and for use in image yes for password and now uh, put uh, live as uh, it is and click on quick connect as we have connected here let's go to the jellyfin directories as you can see here jellyfin media and movies okay so for movies i will copy first this and paste here as you can see we have successfully transferred the file and now let's go for the jellyfin media server okay so the jellyfin will uh, not automatically uh, refresh the page you have to refresh by manually here so let's go on dashboard and here you can see the scan all libraries click enter so it will just uh, scan the libraries and show the uh, as you can see here we now has been successfully seen the media like thanks for watching like and share subscribe so as this we will copy the another and paste here so on your system hardware it can be take the couple of time so you have to wait for it So it has been done so that file has been transferred so let's first check cd movies ls so now mr brooks and stanjav has been copied successfully let's go on jellyfin scan one more time from dashboard Okay, now let's go on home. As you can see here, Mr. Brooks has been successfully copied. And as you can see here, IMDB of the movies and etc. So now let's play. Okay. So as you can see here, you can copy your subtitles and anything as you want. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you have like this video and if you like this video uh, so like share and subscribe guys uh, okay so if you got any error regarding to your uh, installing of your home server you just have to contact us on discord or slack or follow us on linkedin and github so thank you guys so i'm signing off Bye.